All right, thanks for tuning in to another video on YouTube, presented to you by Layback Cycles. Precision Jimmy, take it away. Tell them what we're doing today. Okay, Jack, here we go. <laughs> Basically, we're explaining the pumps to everybody. Um, a lot of people's misconception is that uh, my pump won't work on both types of uh, valves. Um, most of the pumps made today, I'd say 90 to 95% of the pumps made today are going to be able to accommodate both Presta and Schrader valves. The difference in between, this is going to be your Schrader valve, which is your most common valve um, here in America. It looks like what's on your car. It's the nice thick one there. This is going to be a Presta valve. This is your skinnier one that's threaded all the way to the top. Difference in between these guys right here on the Schrader valve, you're going to depress this little button on the inside of the valve here and that's what allows the air to uh, enter and escape. On the Presta valve, it's this little guy on the end that you're going to have to unscrew in order for it to uh, let the air enter or escape. So on your pumps here, this being your most common look, this guy right here is going to be able to accommodate both of these valves with a single head. Um, the way that they do this is they're going to allow it to um, be able to receive a Schrader valve locked into place. And you're going to be able to put air into this guy here simply by just locking it into place like you normally would on a normal pump. I think that's one of the most important things is some people really get the idea of the lever, the way that it functions. They get it confused. So in this particular one, the lever. So basically you depress the stem into the, uh, to the head of the pump. With the lever in the downward in the position. Down position. And then when you put it in its up position, it locks it into place. What it does is it seals around the stem itself, doesn't allow any air to escape, and allows you to be able to put air into your tube. Awesome. When you're done with the Schrader valve, you simply just unlock it, pull it off, holds air. Done. Plain and simple, straightforward. Now when you're working with a Presta valve, it's a little bit different. As I was explaining in the beginning of the video that you have to unscrew this guy in order to let the air in and out. It's already unscrewed. What you do is you push this guy into the head just a little bit further than you would with the Schrader valve. Same concept, you lock it into place, it's nice and snug, doesn't come out, and you are able to put air into the tube. On the Presta valves, once you put your desired pressure into the tube, you unlock it, pull that head unit off, then you have to tighten this back into place so that no air escapes. So it's very important to put air in, you have to loosen it. Once the air is in, you have to tighten it down. Once that's tight, no air will escape. And this head will accommodate both your Schrader and Presta valves. We show them the head and of this pump, which is actually a double-sided head. This is a double-sided head, which does the same thing. You're gonna have a Schrader on one side and a Presta on the other side. Um, both pumps do the exact same thing, it's just gonna have a different look to it. Can you but demonstrate both, uh, the, the, the tube being inserted, the way that you would move the lever once yes. it's... Yes, on the Schrader side, so you determine on what valve you have. This is the Schrader, it's the thicker valve. You're gonna go to the one with the bigger hole, which is the Schrader. Um, the Presta is generally a smaller hole because it's a skinnier valve. So you're going to put that, depress it into the uh, receiver, and then you're going to go opposite side with the lever on this one. And that's what locks it into place. Awesome. And then vice versa for the Presta. Exactly. Awesome. Exactly. Put it in the middle. That's what unlocks it and allows you to take it off. So you return it back to the middle position. To the center position in order to unlock the, uh, the actual stem from the, the head of the, um, the, the pump itself. Awesome. That's fantastic. I'm sure this is going to help a lot of people. This is a very, very common question that we get all the time. So now we have a video for you. There you go. So thank you, Jimmy. We appreciate it. You're very welcome. If anybody has any questions, don't hesitate to give us a call. 916-304-2453. Catch you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.